I think that table looks better. Me too. I got it at Sam's Club when I was like a young kid, so I'm surprised that I still have it, and it works quite well. It has a range of different sizes. For QG, you can remember Quagsire Pokemon. Uh, thanks for clarifying. Uh, this person didn't, and I had no idea what they were talking about. See, I've never played Pokemon, so unless it's a really common one like Pikachu or Bowser, I'm not going to know that it's a Pokemon. What's the easiest and hardest event to get good at? Thanks for the title, by the way. The easiest event is Clock, and the hardest event, I thought about this a long time and couldn't really come up with a good answer. Maybe one-handed, possibly something else. I just don't think that the big blind events, even though they're the most daunting to look at without knowing how to do them, I don't think that they're necessarily as difficult as people think or as difficult to get good at as people think. So. I'm really at a loss here. For me personally, it's 2x2 two two because you can't get good at an event if you never solve it. You do story for blind? Interesting. Well, mostly it's more of like images. I just remember the images. I don't usually remember a story for just three blind, but the person asked for a three blind story drawing, so I read the comment as it was typed. If you were cubing, what would you be doing? Uh, I've actually been doing a number of things longer than cubing, like uh, my reptiles. If you don't know, I have a, an alright number of snakes, I believe 12 and a turtle and I'd be doing that in skiing probably um, probably going to the hospital a lot too that didn't really uh, have anything to do with cubing so who knows speaking of skiing here's a skiing comment it caught me off guard when you said new schoolers uh, yeah it's a pretty interesting website I've been reading on it a little bit more about the stories for the Olympics than I used to um, I actually posted a video there one time and I can direct you to that if you wish it was the uh, solving uh, cube behind my back while skiing backwards the video didn't get very many views. <laughs> Do you intend on getting an official 4Blind success? How is your progress? Uh, thanks for asking. I'm actually b making more progress on 5x5 five five blindfolded. Maybe I'm totally wrong on this, but I think that if I can do that one, 4Blind should be pretty easy, but who knows? M maybe I'm just nuts. P and K equals pink. Uh, if I was doing multi-blind, I would definitely use pink for P and K, but in the 3Blind, I'm trying to memorize as fast as possible, and so when I go to PN, I remember pin and then I would have to change that image for pink so I just went with pin K like pin okay what do you think is the fastest possible time from learning how to solve a 3x3 to getting sub 10 average of 100 I would say a month but I think someone could probably do it in less time given the right advice and practice time um, it's really not as difficult as people think even though I haven't achieved it myself I, I think it could be done in a month. That's just like ideal situations with the ideal cuber and maybe I'm nuts on that one as well. <laughs> Are you sad the Packers didn't go to the Super Bowl? Uh, is it too cliche to say I'm not sad, I'm just disappointed? Because at the first game I thought they had a chance at the Super Bowl, but then they lost the second game and it didn't get much better from there. Favorite ALG? This is a good question. It's actually one I learned at Nationals 2015, so I guess I'll just show you. Well, at least that went slow, so I'm no longer good at egg. 